Well, Cass, thank you for coming and talk to us. Last time we spoke, it was after your Australia debut in the, in the Bolton game. Now we're talking to you after your Asia Cup debut and, and the Cambridge game at Fratton Park. Let's talk about the Asia Cup. How did you find it? It was great. It was a, a nice experience. My first major international tournament. Hopefully there'll be many more. Um, but yeah, it was a good experience. Obviously, we didn't, we didn't go all the way and, and didn't end up how we would like it. But yeah, I had fun. That experience of a, of a major tournament, how did it compare to, to being away from the first time you went? Uh, yeah, it was a lot different. Obviously, I was there for a longer period of time. Um, I'd already met most of the boys, so kind of felt a bit more comfortable, a bit more settled in. So I was uh, you know, able to, to be myself a bit more and had a lot of uh, more training sessions than I did in, in the previous camp that I went into. So, yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. What can you take from that camp and what can you bring back to Portsmouth and what can you apply, sort of, how can you apply what you learned there here? Yeah, a lot of different things. Um, I think, you know, for starters, some of the players that, that I'm playing with when I go away with the national team, you know, I've played at, at the top level for quite some years and they have a lot of professionalism and there's a lot of little detail, details that I can pick up and, and learn from them and, and then hopefully bring back here and pass them on to, to players here. So. That's one thing, but also just, you know, the, the tournament, it was a knockout tournament. It was, a, you know, cutthroat. It was you had to win or, or you went home and there's a lot of pressure on you when you're playing in, in those types of matches and coming towards the end of the season now and, and our push for promotion, that's something that's going to be clinical for us. How did you sort of cope being away for a whole month? Were you able to sort of settle in quickly? Yeah, it was all right. Um, uh, you don't really have too much time when you're away, you're away in camp and... Even in my spare time, I tried to use it, you know, productively, spending time making sure my body was right in the gym and, and, and things like that. So we also stayed at a lovely accommodation. So there was beaches nearby and, and stuff like that to just to, to take your mind off football when you need to. Straight back into the thick of it last week in Pompey with a trip to Carlisle. How was it seeing the boys for the first time in almost over a month? Yeah, it was good. It was great, really. Um, felt a bit strange being back here, but um, yeah, I was, I was happy to be back and it was a... Uh, an interesting, interesting trip to, to come back to. Um, pretty far trip, long journey. Um, I think the time it took to get there was, was longer than it took for me to fly back from, from Qatar, so it was, it was an interesting one. Um, but yeah, it was good and uh, we got the win and yeah. Something that obviously unfortunately happened whilst you are away was, was Robbo's injury. I'm guessing you've spoken to him. How's he doing? How did you react to that news as well? Yeah, it's obviously devastating, not only for him, but for, for us as, as a club and uh, for me personally, being such good friends with Robbo. And, uh, you know, it was when he told me, I really couldn't believe it. You know, I didn't understand, you know, how it had happened. And, uh, yeah, I was really upset for him because, you know, he was flying and, and he was helping us do so well. So, yeah, it's disappointing, but that's part of football. Injuries come and uh, it's how you adapt and how you work to back to get better from them so yeah he's doing well he's, he's doing his rehab at, at City and uh, I think he'll be back in no time. Also brought in five new players since you were away how have you settled in with those lads how are you getting on with them? Yeah it's been good um, they're, all, they're all great guys and haven't had too much time you know to spend with them outside of the pitch and things like that to really get to know them so well but um, I'm sure I will over, over the next few days and a few weeks and stuff like that but yeah they all seem to have settled in quite well. Callum Lang so I know we were talking earlier come to training and go back to go back home with him. Is he someone you've sort of been able to bond with quite quite soon? Yeah, yeah. Lang is a, a great guy, and uh, we live really close. He's moved into to Robo's place, so it's right next to mine. So yeah, we travel into training together, and it's good to have someone, you know, similar age and kind of understands you a bit. And uh, I think we have a good connection on the field as well. And a few training sessions that that we've had together, he's a guy that you know likes to link up and play. You know, in that kind of 10 role just behind the nine, which, which is perfect for me. So, yeah, hopefully our, our friendship will continue to blossom. Looking back to Tuesday night, you started at Fratton Park. How would you assess the game? Yeah, it was a, it was a great game. You know, we, we got the win, which was what we needed. Obviously, there was patches in the game where we weren't playing at our best, but I think there were patches in the game where we were playing outstanding football. And uh, if we continue to, you know, play games where we're having more patches where we're playing outstanding football, then patches when we're not, then uh, we'll be successful. So it was great. In terms of your performance, I'm guessing it was one you're, you're pretty pleased with, getting a goal and, and making massive contributions alongside that. Yeah, I think I had a, had a great game. It was, uh, 
I think every game really is set up for me, you know, with the my unique skill set that I have. But um, yeah, this game this game was great. I was eager to be back out there at Fratton Park in front of the home fans, and uh, you know, just really excited to to play again, um, having not played too much football while I was away in the camp. So yeah, it was great to be back out there and felt like I was at home and I felt like uh, you know I hadn't been away for a month. It felt like I knew everyone's style of play still and and how we were going to play and yeah everything went well. How good was it to get that goal scoring feeling in front of the front and back again? Yeah amazing it was a it was a, it was a short kind of feeling because we were, we were chasing the game so the celebration was cut a little bit short but yeah, it was nice obviously to hear the roar from the front and end uh, and I, I live for these moments and I enjoy those moments so it was great. Now, I want to look back to Reading away earlier in the season. I know you weren't involved, you were on the bench, but didn't end up coming on. Just the, the perspective you had, what did you make of the game and what did you make of those memorable scenes at the end as well? I don't really honestly remember too much. I, I remember, I think it was Colby that scored one and Terry scored his first goal. So, yeah, um, I remember it being an interesting game quite end to end, but I, we dug deep and ended up winning in the end. So. Hopefully at home, you know, with the, the power of our friends and, and the Fratton end, uh, we'll be able to get on top of them early and uh, take the game away from them. Obviously, the games are coming thick and fast recently. So how much are you looking forward to, to and you, and, you and the lads looking forward to, to getting back to Fratton Park, especially after Tuesday? Yeah, um, for sure. Love playing games at Fratton Park. It's uh, our home stadium. We have our home fans, you know. All the boys have family and friends that come to watch us. So that's important to us and it means a lot to have them in the stand supporting us. So. Those home games are important for us and, and for our families and for the fans and, and, and we love them just as much as they do. When, when you have the ball at your feet and you know everyone's eating, edging you on to, to, to run forward or to have a shot and stuff like that, you know, it gives you, you know, you feel faster, you feel stronger um, when you're on the field and I think it's, it's massive for us and it's something that we need to really harness and, and use to help us, you know, win games and uh, dominate games and, you know, scare oppositions. And uh, it's great, honestly, it's a, it's a privilege to, to have the support of not only the Fratton End, but the whole stadium, because it's, it's everyone from the Fratton End to the other side. You hear the noise all the time when you're on the field and it really pushes you to, to work harder and, and, and to, you know, just to dig deep and maybe give a little bit more than you maybe might not have given.